The transfer window is open and we're on red alert to see if Spurs are going to make any moves before the window slams shut. You know, most of this is going to be about transfers, obviously. How many strikers have you been offered this month? And can you, can you give us an idea of what it's like when the world knows you want a striker? We've had problems. We lost Harry. We lost important players. The fact is that Spurs haven't won without a striker. Of course, the club is is very aware of it. And but, Spurs uh, have some money, presumably, and it's a window is open. Mourinho is one of the most well-connected manager probably in the world. Why aren't we just going out and just getting players we need? It's not Mourinho's team, is he? So he's going to need some players. No, it's amazing I get these emails from fans, and I do read them all. But, you know, when you're at a certain level, the market for better quality is like a pyramid. There's obviously fewer players that are better. We all have our dream teams, um, but often that's not reality. If Christian does speak the club, would you look to bring in another playmaker? It's obviously a very difficult time for him. <clears throat> he would be prepared to sell Ericsson in this window. What do you do? Do you wait until his contract expires or do you cash in now? Are you relying on the money? If you don't have an offer to sell him, how can you sell him? The only situation is to try to get the best from the players, which is what I'm trying to, to do, and that's it. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. 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 Thank I get very frustrated if at the end of a transfer window the team is not in a better place than where we started. Do we want to start with the financials? So we all know that unfortunately we've had major injuries in Harry and Musa. That's uh, clearly going to force us to go into the transfer market and try and find a couple of options if we can. Obviously difficult in a January transfer window. So, striker, midfielder, definitely on the list. It's the start of a new year, and chairman Daniel Levy meets with other members of the board to discuss potential player transfers. Striker, very difficult, because we, Josie wants a particular style of striker, very, very limited. Um, but we have one or two ideas that we're working on. Loans or buys. There's lots of bits and pieces going on all over the place. We may end up spending money, we may not, we may end up doing a purchase, we may end up doing a number of loans. It's like this. As we know, it, the activity always happens in the last week of the window. We have a budget, and even putting aside the money, the fact is there may be a player that we all like, but you know, unless you've got the club that wants to sell, or willing to sell, uh, you've got the agent that's willing to do business with us and a player that actually wants to come here. I mean, there's a lot of things that have to come together. And I think fans generally just have no comprehension of how hard it is to physically do a transfer. Why is it never enough now that the income January teams can't be like settled? Do you know what I mean? There always has to be like have to sign a new player. It is now. It is how it is. But like, when you think about it, it's it's going a bit crazy. It's like yeah, you have to have new players all the time. Where yeah, for what reason? You can't develop like whatever happened to like letting a player like develop a bit. Look at that 2011 season. 